Well, it was a bestseller. Tuesdays with Mari. It inspired a lot of readers out there. Well, now there's a new book on the man who was featured in that memoir. The son of Maury Schwartz talks about life lessons in this new story. The best-selling book, Tuesdays with Maury, helped introduce the world to a Brandeis professor full of insight on life and death. Maury Schwartz, the subject of the book, never saw its success, though. He died in 1995 from ALS. Yeah, but Maury was an aspiring author himself. His son, Rob, recently published work Maury never got to print. Our Monica Medea spoke with him about that decision after all these years. What is that? Well, if you're going to keep giving me this meaning of life stuff, I want to remember it. The TV movie and book that inspired it made Maury Schwartz a household name 25 years ago. Tuesdays with Maury by Mitch Album sat on the New York Times bestseller list for years. The book, full of introspective thoughts on life and death from a man who was dying, even being used in educational curriculum. Now, more of the former Brandeis sociology professor's insight is printed in a new book, The Wisdom of Maury, thanks to his youngest son, Rob. I pulled open his desk drawer and there was this completed manuscript, which I had remembered, you know, talking to him about. So it was a revelation. Rob made the discovery in his family's Newton home years after his father had passed. This book is his thoughts and his feelings and, you know, his ideas on how to remain vigorous and creative and vibrant and joyous while you age. Maury tried to get the book published back in the early 90s. This mm. doesn't have any academic language in it. This is for regular people. He tried to get it published and he wasn't really, you know, sophisticated in the publishing game. Maybe the distance between life and death isn't as great as you think. The wisdom of Maury examines loneliness. Maury, a therapist, describes it as an inner ache when we're not connected, something the Surgeon General recently described as a public health crisis. Oh, I mean, this was one of the focuses of his life. I think he would be, you know, shocked as to, I think there is a mental health crisis mm -hmm. in this country, and this is Mental Health Awareness Month. This book fits right into it. It talks a lot about how to maintain a balance. My father talks about the tension of opposites. So for example, hope and despair or feeling great and feeling terrible. Like you're never going to be one way or hopefully the other. You're always going to be somewhere along the continuum. So he says you need to recognize that and understand that the two things have to exist together. Monica Medea, NBC 10 Boston. Love the follow up there. Yeah. Thanks for watching NBC 10 Boston. News.